Joining us today for this week's entertainment panel is Abby St. John. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today, Abby. Of course, thank you. Of course, yeah, really glad to always have you in studio to do our classic entertainment yep. panel, the best part of the week. I say this every time. <laughs> of course. But we got some good topics as we always do, and starting off is one that's really been uh, talked about quite a lot mm -hmm. online, especially, and it's great to see this, yep. you know, on screen, especially with that representation. Mm -hmm. We got Prey, the latest film in the Predator franchise. And, um, you know, this was, uh, Hulu said it's the platform's number one mm -hmm. premiere to date, which is, like, really impressive because, you know, they're even saying, like, on a couple articles that this past the Kardashians debut which is kind of hilarious of course yeah. you know there's so many viewers when it comes to the Kardashians mm -hmm. and um, uh, you, it's pretty much about a young warrior that fights like the predator alien that comes on earth around like 300 years ago mm -hmm. so this is quite a while ago and uh, her and her tribe end up fighting this alien predator and it looks pretty uh, pretty crazy I haven't watched it quite yet personally mm -hmm. I kind of want to be able to watch like the first like watch predator then watch this kind of thing yep. and uh, see what else I got to catch up on but I kind of want to check it out it looks great yes I've seen it I loved it. Yeah. I actually watched the first Predator first because I had never seen it. 1987, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I loved it and I'm glad that I did watch, watch it before watching Prey because Prey has very subtle little nods to the first one which I really liked and I could pick up on that yeah. when watching it. So definitely if you haven't seen the first uh, original Predator, watch it first before Prey. Um, I thought Prey was fantastic. Um, and it's a lot of Predator fans were a little bit concerned considering the fact that all the other Predator alien movies have not done good. The mm -hmm. fans don't like them. Uh, people, Some people say that they should have just stopped after the first one, which is fair. Um, but this huge success, it's certified fresh and Rotten Tomatoes with a 92% critic rating, a 79% audience rating, and like you said, Hulu's biggest premiere, which is fantastic. I think that is amazing. Mm -hmm. I think they did a great job. Uh, Amber Midthunder, who plays Nauru, she is the main character in this film, and she is the main warrior. She's mm -hmm. really trying to prove herself to her tribe that she can be a warrior and a hunter, just like the rest of the guys that are in her tribe, you know, obviously because of the time women yeah. weren't seen as warriors and she really drove that home and I think it was fantastic very it was a very nice growth movie almost mm -hmm. coming of age sort of but she really grows into herself as a warrior throughout this film and you know obviously fighting something like the predator is hard it is very difficult yeah, especially like, what, what is when going on right now? all she yeah. has is a staff bow arrows like she doesn't have the, the guns. guns that Arnold Schwarzenegger had yeah. so it's harder but she does it and I think the movie was fantastic I think uh, Amber she was fantastic in it. I think she's gonna go very far in this industry I hope she goes very far because I think she's a talented actress I hadn't seen her in really anything else um, and I think that's big I think she's gonna go far and yeah, yeah, it's fantastic. It big. It's really great also just to see that representation yes. on screen. Um, I couldn't remember what language it was, but they had it like in the, all the subtitles yes. even for like had it in that language for people to view as well. Mm -hmm. And I just thought that was just really impressive. I yeah. just think it's really cool to see that. Um, and you know, they were saying that this is probably the best representation they've yeah. seen yet on screen too. Very accurate and everything. Yes. So, okay, so for another thriller that's uh, talked about quite a bit, mm -hmm. you know, kind of still on the kind of thriller aspect I guess in a way you know that one's a little bit more like cat and mouse in a way like kind of chase yeah. like who's gonna kill who in a way but yeah. this one that people have been talking about is bodies 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 this one is a little, a little more of a different uh, case of course yeah. when it comes to like a, a horror movie but it's also a comedy if yeah. you've seen the trailer you can understand that it looks at kind of hilarious yes um, you know it's about follows uh, college kids and they're a group of friends here that they go to uh, this secluded mansion and this is owned by a uh, <laughs> friend Pete Davidson I thought that was hilarious just knowing that he's gonna be yeah. in it but it seems like it's kind of got like um uh they play this game that's kind of like a, a murder game called bodies 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 mm -hmm. and of course this kind of gets twisted up where yeah. an actual body is found and then it's like a whole thing and people kind of say it's almost like a real life among us game you yeah. know so it looks a little bit interesting with uh, this movie I'm kind of excited to check it out yeah definitely so yeah. it's more of like a horror comedy type which is kind of which can be difficult to you know put out yeah it's it's hard to get that across you know it, it sometimes it just ends up being too silly but this one seems very promising like you said group of friends go and plays this game then 
people start dying. Then they become paranoid, like who's the killer, who's actually doing this, and you know, it kind of just becomes that paranoia type yeah. uh, film. It's certified fresh on Rotten Tomatoes with 90% critic rating and 83% audience rating. You, you mentioned Pete Davidson's in it, also Madla Stenberg and Maria Bakhlo. Baklava uh, is in it as well and Amanda Stenberg was on the Daily Show with Trevor Noah talking about this film and she uh, quote saying it's a mixed bag and also playing terrible people that don't know they're terrible which I think is hilarious she did go on saying that they acted in this film like it was a drama mm -hmm. and that's what made it funny well they're making it like a, a relating kind of movie yeah. to a lot of the, this generation too, you mm -hmm. know, they got, you could see that people, their kids were vaping and stuff when they're trying to phones. find each other, using their iPhone yeah. uh, flashlights. Uh, they got like, you know, they're talk, they got like LGBTQ representation yes. when it comes into the group. That's uh, a big part of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it's got well. like a lot of like, you know, things that are like very like mm -hmm. open mindedness now. It's like they say, it's like a perfect kind of summer horror yeah. comedy movie that you want to see. And yeah. it's got good ratings so far exactly. and everything. So might as well go check it out, have yeah. your own opinion on it and you know I feel like it's not going to be something that you're going to regret but unfortunately that's all the time we have for this week's entertainment panel so once again thank you so much for joining us today Abby of course thank you